Hey guys, this is Kevin for pixelvert.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature inside of Lightroom Classic. Now this feature should be also available in Lightroom. What we're going to be looking at is at a, an artificially intelligent feature that can increase the size of images. It's called super resolution. And let's take a look at it. So I'm inside of Lightroom's develop module and here, what we would do to access this feature is to just zoom. Well, we don't have to zoom in, but it'll be easier to work whilst we're zoomed in. Um, at 100% uh, zoom, we can access the new feature, I think, through develop and you no, know, through photo. And we can go down and choose enhance, or we can right click and uh, control click uh, on the Mac uh, and choose enhance. Uh, control Alt plus I, I think is the keyboard shortcut for applying this immediately without any shortcut, without any kind of uh, uh, interface. Uh, control Option I. Let's click on this and we're going to get a little screen that will allow us to see what we're working with. So there are two features here, one which you might be aware of already. It's called Raw Details. And this is the new name for Enhanced Details. Made a couple of videos on Enhanced Details already. And I'll have a link in those. I'll have a link to those in the description. I'll have a little playlist. There's another feature called Super Resolution. And what I want to do is just to switch off the Super Resolution. Raw Details, to briefly summarize, is an AI enhanced feature that creates a superior looking image using artificial intelligence. And what I've done is I've chosen this image here because I want to look at the way that the image will be scaled up with, there's a big round object in the center of the image. And I think that will give us a good idea as to whether the scaling is creating a kind of a stair-stepping effect, a uh, kind of jagged uh, scaling up or whether it's more smooth, more realistic. So that was the reason for choosing this image. But what we want to do here is to click on this little icon here and to click where we want to focus. So we're going to be looking at the center of the image. We're going to be looking at this round object to see how well uh, it actually works here. So just to give you a brief idea of what we're looking at, we're looking at 100% resolution, 100% zoom here. We're looking at something quite a lot more than that in, in this little panel here. And that allows us to measure the performance of raw details, enhanced details. And it allows us to actually apply uh, apply uh, a process known as demosaicing, uh, which I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Um, it's a little bit of a technical uh, subject, but essentially when we have an image uh, in a camera, uh, in, in, in a color camera, um, a color digital camera, the image is made up of individual pixels and those pixels are missing about a two thirds of the information they need to display properly. So the software has to calculate what goes into those missing, uh, what goes into the missing information. Uh, and that's, and that's called demosaicing. It's done in software and it has to be done before you can actually see the image you're looking at. Uh, super resolution takes things a step further and takes the image that we've got and increases the size of it. So what you're looking at here is greater than one to one, um, zoom. Um, but we're going to see what it looks like when we multiply that twofold. Okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, what we've got here is an estimated time of one second, probably not going to take as long as that, but, um, I've also chosen create stacks, which means it's going to stack the images, uh, in one folder. It's not going to separate. They're not going to be scattered through the library that I've got. Um, I'm going to keep that on and we'll just take a look at the enhance. Uh, we're just going to take a look at the super resolution. So if I move around here, you can see if I click once, you can see that stair stepping effect uh, that, that I was talking about. You can see the stair stepping uh, inside the image at the, at the point of the curve. And if I move around here, we should see that again, not quite as pronounced there, but it's kind of the, the edge is fuzzy. Uh, and if I release my mouse, you see it becomes nice and smooth. So that's the before, that's the after. I click once, that's the before, that's the after. I can definitely see a huge improvement after we release the mouse. So again, 
clicking to remove the effect. And that's when it's just, when you just zoom in normally, but when you actually apply the super resolution, that's what you get. It looks fantastic. I am noticing areas where there's a little bit more noise in the after than in the before. I'm definitely noticing a little bit more noise there. So it's also enhancing the noise, but I don't think that's much of a problem because we can always deal with the noise a bit, a bit later on. What the software does when you enhance, when you click the button, is that it will create a DNG file, which is a digital negative file. And that will have whatever settings you had in the raw file. Okay, so I already had one DNG file and it cannot apply the image enhancement to the DNG file. That's not a problem. It will apply it to the uh, to the raw file. So you, it only works in raw files. Uh, you cannot do this on DNG files. And what we're looking at here is, this is awesome. This is the final image. Um, I think it might work on some DNG files. Don't, don't take my word for that. But the main thing is that we're looking at the enhanced image. It looks huge. And if I just zoom out like this, Wow. So I wonder what this looks like at 100. Let's make sure it, wow, this is impressive. This is really impressive. So this technology has been inside of Photoshop for a while and it's great to see this technology coming to, I mean, the detail here is amazing. The detail, the, the, this grimy bit here, you can see all the little grime um, there. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Uh, so this technology has been inside of Photoshop for a while, and it's really nice to see it coming into Lightroom. Um, I think the image is now four times larger. I think that's what it actually calculates to. But yeah, I've been very impressed by this. I think this is... This is really impressive. Um, I think this is, um, obviously you want to see a few comparisons, maybe portraits and landscapes and see what kind of effects you get there. But so far I've really, I'm really impressed by this. I think this is really um, quite amazing. I mean, it's not possible really to tell that this has been enlarged. All you can see is a little bit more noise in some of the noisy areas. So. Very impressive. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, the technology because I've done a number of videos on the technology. The first thing to mention is that when you take a, a picture with a camera image, uh, with a uh, color camera image, it has to take individual red, green and blue uh, images. And each of those images is going to be low resolution. So you've got a low resolution red image, which is made up of uh, a quarter resolution. You've got a low resolution blue image, which is again a quarter resolution. And if you can see here with a lot of green pixels, those pixels are half resolution. So you've got three, um, three low resolution images and you have to fill in the detail of what the red, green and blue would be in each of the pixels. So you're practically kind of creating three times as much data as there is in the original image. And that's usually traditionally done by software. That's, the software just does a calculation based on some algorithm. It's been a very, very closely studied subject in mathematics. And this is called demosaicing. But in recent research, we've seen that the demosaicing uh, process is closely related to the process of enlarging an image. Because when you enlarge an image, you take a low resolution image and you create a larger resolution image. And it turns out mathematically, these two things are very closely related. In actual fact, I did do a video one year ago, which is called Super Resolution in Adobe Lightroom. This looks at that demosaicing process and how artificial intelligence can actually enhance that process using the built-in feature, which is now called raw details. It used to be called enhanced details. Uh, I think raw details is actually better. So we'll move that out of the way. I'll have a playlist of some of these videos, which will discuss these issues in more detail. But essentially the image you're looking at here, if I just scroll out, is exactly the same image 
as the image in the background there. It's just that it has not yet been demosaiced. And what Adobe do with enhanced details, they've explained that they actually use artificial intelligence to do the demosaicing process and they get much better results. And I've seen that with my own eyes. It's actually very significant, particularly with the uh, some of the Fujifilm cameras. This process can be done to not only enhance the demosaicing, the artificial intelligence, which is trained, it, it actually learns how to do this. It can be trained to also increase the size of images. And that's something we've been able to do inside Photoshop for quite a while. And when I first looked at this, I wasn't really impressed with it inside of Photoshop. I did do a video uh, a while back. And again, I'll link to that video in the, in the playlist. But when I saw other users, other guys on YouTube, looking at the technology, they were able to get much better results. And it really depended on the subject matter that you were trying to, you're trying to enhance, you're trying to, uh, you're trying to super, uh, you're trying to increase the resolution of, of, of the subject. So it worked very well with natural subjects, but something like this, which is very mechanical, very technical, uh, man-made, it didn't work so well. So I was really interested to see how it would perform with an object like this, uh, a man-made object. And I'm, I'm really impressed in how well it's performed. And I think it does show that the technology, the, the artificial intelligence, the machine learning continues to learn over time and continues to improve over time. And I think this is going to probably have a significant impact on photography, because if you think about it, if you have uh, a 25 megapixel image from a few years ago, and you want to now convert it to a hundred megapixel, it might just be possible. And it may be so good that no one will be able to tell. Um, so I think this could have a really significant impact on how people, how we do photography uh, in future. So it'll be interesting, it's interesting to interesting thing to keep an eye on. Uh, there are a lot of other new features inside of the software, uh, but th that was the one that I wanted to really touch on in this video. So that is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will be possibly making another video on some of the new features, maybe, but uh, that will be it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.